everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can make this beautiful double braided pattern. Let's get started. Go ahead and attach two ropes to a dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Now we're going to add a second rope into each little lark's head knot by gently loosening it so you see this nice horizontal loop that hangs below the dowel rod. Grab your piece of rope and slide it right through that loop and pull it out until both sides are even. Then just pull on the lark's head knot to tighten it back up and secure everything into place. Repeat on your other rope. Now, working with the group here on the left, we're going to tie a reverse endless falls knot. To do this, I'm gonna take the two cords on the outer sides, the left and the right, and take them right behind the two in the middle, and then cross the left side over the right to form a loop. I like to pinch it right here where the ropes cross, and it will look like two well-defined loops, one on the right and one on the left. I'm gonna take the middle right cord send it behind all the ropes to come up, behind, and through the loop here on the right. Now I repeat on the left side. So that left middle cord comes up from behind. I twist it around so it goes through the loop. And I just pull that nice and tight to secure it into place. Now I'm gonna repeat on the right side. Take those outer cords behind the two in the middle, cross the left over the right to form a loop. It will look like two loops with the two cords hanging down the middle. Take the middle right cord behind, around, and through the loop on the right. Now do the same on the left. Take the left middle cord behind, up, and around so it comes through the left loop. Pull it tight. Now we're going to connect both sections together using those reverse endless falls knots once again. So I'm going to be using the blue cord here all the way in the left. I'm going to skip the next blue cord and then take the one next to it, okay? So I'm using the one on the far left from my first section and the one from the far left on the section next to it. I take those two cords behind my project cross the left over the right so I have this nice loop. I'm just gonna slide that other blue cord out of my way. And it will look like I have two loops once again. Okay, so this original blue cord from this section is just out of my way. And I use the blue cord from the other to form the loop. I take the middle right cord behind my project to twist around and go through the loop on the right. I do the same on the left, so that left middle cord comes behind, around, and through the loop. Then I pull my blue cords to tighten this up and adjust everything as I go. Just like that. And now I'm going to do the same on my other section. So I'm gonna take that blue cord that we skipped and then the blue cord on the right from this section. I just cross left over right to form the loops. Take the middle right cord behind, around, and through the loop on the right. Take the left middle cord behind, around, and through the loop on the left. Pull it tight. Just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just crossing these two blue cords in the middle once again, so they switch places, okay? And then I take the blue cords behind the project and form my loop, crossing the left over the right to do this. Okay, so the blue cord from the section here is now out of the way, and I just tie those reverse endless falls knots as before.
just like that. So we are making this really cool double braided pattern. And we're just repeating. So once again, the two blue cords here in the middle, they just switch places. Then we form our loop behind our two cords in the middle and tie our reverse endless falls knots. We just keep repeating this pattern over and over again until we have reached the desired length. To make it easier, just always remember to cross your two blue ropes in the middle from each different section so we connect our sections together. I always cross the left over the right in the back to form my loops. This really cool double braided pattern can be used in plant hangers, wall hangings, as bracelets, belts, bag straps, anything you would like you can use this pattern for. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.